Hi, it's Lori Shearer with the Shearer team and my partner. Dan Karp with the Karp Group. And we're here today to talk to you about what some people have heard as an HOA. Well, what is an HOA? It's a homeowners association. And here in Florida, there are many communities that fall under the guidance of having a homeowners association. They can be the best thing in the world and they can be the most annoying thing in the world. The best thing about it is you are part of a bigger community. You're part of a bigger association. There are many financial advantages to being in a community that has a homeowner association, such as a community is able to negotiate better terms for contracts for cable TV, for home alarm monitoring systems, for things like this. And so many communities offer different services as part of their homeowner association. Dan's gonna talk about that as well. Some of the other advantages are, you'll never have a situation where your neighbor paints their home purple or puts a green roof on. There are color guidelines, there are landscaping guidelines, there are rental guidelines. There are a lot of things that are embedded to protect your ownership. Uh, some of the disadvantages are you're not able to make any adjustment or change physically to your home that you want to. You have to get permission. And the reason for that is that you don't do something that could be a, a damage to your home or a damage to the value within the community. So pluses and minuses. And Laura, maybe even the difference between the Hopa Community Service and Stonebridge, mm -hmm. I mean, even just if you talk to those for a moment, the difference okay. between those two. So Dan mentioned the word HOPA, and what HOPA actually relates to is housing for older persons. Now, we don't really consider 55 years or older as an older person, but in the, the designation from our multiple listing, that is what an over 55 community would be. And this also ensures that you're not going to be having teenagers moving in. You're not going to be having young families with young children who are going to be leaving their bicycles and skateboards all over the place. So there, there definitely is a, a value to being able to live amongst your kin, so to say, you know, you're the people who are similar to you, where you want to enjoy similar things together. So that's really what HOPA encompasses. Right. And, and as far as the each community, every community is going to be different. And I think Laura just spoke about HOPA and even Stonebridge Country Club, where she does a lot of work as well. Um, that's not in a local community, but there are different rules and regulations and it's a membership, mandatory membership community where there's a membership fee and, and equity fees are associated with it. So as you're looking at a community, knowing the different uh, rules and regulations, the bylaws of each community are really important. And knowing the financials of the communities, knowing what the any assessments that are coming up, knowing the HOA fee, what, what the dues are each year, if there's any capital improvements that are on the horizon knowing that there's actually a disclosure that we go through and look at that when we when we put these offers together for clients. And and that may make you want to live in one community over another, not just given the hope of versus not hope of, but, but the financial solvency of a community. So there's lots to go through. Um, different communities offer different advantages and disadvantages. And, um, you know, Lori and I both do a lot of work in those communities. Choices, choices, choices. Thanks for listening to us. Hope you're having a great day.